In today's video, I'm going to tell you why kiln dried wood is not your best option for barbecue. Well, hardwood is hardwood, right? Not when you want to put out exceptional tasting barbecue. Air drying or naturally seasoning a hardwood is so much better for the barbecue and direct grilling than kiln dried wood. For those of you who barbecue or direct grill with kiln dried wood, or those of you who might produce kiln dried wood, hear me out. As you're probably already aware, hardwood trees are about 75 to 80% moisture when living. When a hardwood tree is harvested or it falls, it's really not going to make great barbecue wood or cooking wood until the moisture level is below 20%. So kiln drying is a process to rapidly bring down the moisture levels in a tree that has freshly fallen or has just recently been harvested. I understand it's a standard practice in the wood production industry to kiln dried so you can speed up the turnaround time of the commodity. I know it does serve a value for most of the industry because it speeds up the drying time and allows for increased production. Kiln dried wood has also found its way to the backyard and to restaurants because the industry needs to be able to keep up with the demand. And I understand kiln drying serves other purposes such as regulatory measures. There are other ways that you can quickly bring down the moisture level in a piece of hardwood. I've had to use the tactics myself when I'm in a pinch. You can place a split on top of the firebox of your smoker, or you can actually stick it inside the chamber and pre-bake it. This process, like kiln drying, is something I wouldn't recommend, and we should avoid it at all costs. The smoking of barbecue with kiln dried wood is not gonna be in the same class of greatness as barbecue that's smoked with slow, naturally dried hardwood. And it doesn't take a whole lot of digging to see why. When comparing wood for cooking, one must ask, what is the purpose of the wood? When it comes to cooking, there are two main elements that we want or need from our hardwood. One is pretty obvious, and that is wood is a type of fuel. Wood allows us to create heat, which is convection for a barbecue smoker or embers for a hot and fast grill. And that's about all we're gonna mention on number one. Number two, over the past 10 or 15 years, I've come to the realization that wood is one of the most magical ingredients in cooking. And what's interesting is that the slow drying or naturally curing hardwood might be one of the most secretive ingredients in all of the gourmet world. The depth of flavor and vanilla notes found in slow cured hardwood that can't be found in a grocery store shelf or in a rub or in a bottle of sauce. So why is slow naturally cured hardwood so much better for barbecue or grilling? The interaction between wood and our taste buds is an extremely interesting phenomenon, and that could be another whole video. It is an eerily similar relationship that bourbon has with a wood barrel. It's a well-known fact that the longer the tree ages, the more wood lactones and vanillins are established in wood. Once the tree has fallen or been harvested, the moisture will begin to exit out of the tree, and the wood lactones and the vanillins, which are just a fancy name for carbohydrates or sugars, will become restored into the wood. The wood will also gain something called phenol ketones, which are like cloves or cinnamon notes that will accentuate flavors. And I bet if you went digging, you would find that these craft distillers or bourbon makers are aging their products in barrels that are dried using the same process. Slow and naturally, but the payoff is you're gonna get flavor profiles that you just couldn't introduce artificially. And ironically, the geographical sweet spot for seasoning hardwoods is gonna be somewhere that has really hot summers and cold winters, hence why Kentucky is a very popular region where bourbon barrels are made. We have the same seasonal weather patterns here in Coal Mountain, Georgia, and mixed with all the great species of cookwoods or hardwoods we have here, it makes for a great place to have a smoker. So when you hear these big name pit masters and cooks that you admire so much talking about gaining these sweet notes and these coconut flavor profiles and this vanillin, I bet you it's a direct result that they're using a process to slowly cure, air dry their wood. 
When you place a slowly seasoned split in your firebox, the gases that are escaping are gonna be well-structured sugars going all through your smoker. This is in fact leaving you with a depth of flavor that you just can't get anywhere else. The results of your meat and your barbecue will be evident uh, not only with the flavor profile and the taste, but it'll also have this robust caramelization and crystallization, and that will be attributed to slow curing, slow drying your hardwood. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.